Guys, we're gonna watch the second live action episode. Has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it the previous one. At least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. Well, let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Here we go. treatments for Sophia the treatments they're losing their effectiveness they're fine no I need to work on something new you should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. They're increasing in frequency and duration. They'll dissipate, I've told you that. You need to consider that maybe what you have seen is wrong. It's not wrong. I need to prepare for my speech. Sophia. You shouldn't worry so much. So you wanted to know I already watched this. Still haven't gotten to the point where I don't know anything yet. It's coming up. In the next part. Or next act. Yeah, what's happening? You haven't touched your Yeah, there's Charlie. I mean, I'm just not. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had to, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. 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 I helped catch a traitor today. Traitor? Is that what all that commotion was about? Yep. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was it? Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh... What? I am not at liberty to discuss it. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hanging here. For real. Okay. Go mingle. Okay. I'm totally Charlie at a party. So she's working with Beth. Uh, we saw it in a note earlier. In Act Two. 
There's Jack. No, that's Liam. Jack's already on the island. There's Jack. Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest. I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? What's going on? It's nothing. We were just having a little chat. You should prepare for your speech. Enjoy it, Doctor. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! <laughs> really need to take a shit. <laughs> Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm. It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. So I don't know which ripple wow. that's from. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told you. What were they getting there? I still don't know. So I don't think I can drink. drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your it. encouragement. <laughs> Charlie, you are too easy. Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. 
Do you want to go for a walk? Hey, 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 hey. Listen, if I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. Damn. That takes some precision right there. I'll probably kick it to the left and break the wall. going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, cause somebody twisted my arm. Oh, what the fuck is that? I remember that ripple. Kinda looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. How did it end up there? Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. When I looked at it, it disappeared, okay. so yeah. All right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't have gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. But I... Against it? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know? I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, well, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I guess. Yeah. Love work. Hold oh, right shit. there! Oh, shit! You little fucker. Hey, <laughs> Poor Charlie. Oh, all you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. There goes Charlie's heart. still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. Right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it?
What is that? It's where Paul was getting his treatments. Showed on the bottom of the picture of who that is. Cruel and disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. Only ever heard of him. Life form? Uh, Shifter. It's Dr. Kim. That's who that is. Do you know who I am? Martin Hatch, Paul's um, other half. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I see the monarch's well-being. Oftentimes, the matters Paul may find them um, well, arbitrary. So you're his assistant? A little more complex than that. It doesn't sound like it. Now, I can sit here and offer you my condolences for your brother, and, uh, well, you can tell me to fuck off. I can tell you Paul doesn't want you to suffer the same fate, and you can tell me to fuck off. Or, I could point out that there's a difference between Paul and myself. You see, Paul, he... Well, he still has such hope for the world, whereas I lean towards a more realistic approach. Trouble is, I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. Paul's a very dangerous man, practically a zealot. And things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. Maybe you and I can find some common ground. my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in a, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? We didn't have time? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, 
It has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no! This way, this way! Turn! Fiona! Zero state. The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. At the stutter? Where are you going? There are cordon harnesses up here. We need them! Put little things in the lockers. There they are. That's what they're using. Lights move in zero state. Where are you going? Charlie! There's two others of those uh Cronon thingies. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Go this way! Go! Go! Hmm. I think that's it for episode two.